I am, my name is Julie Winter, and I am the Interim Executive Director here at Vitelli A6000, also called A6, easier to say, um, and we are in Bend, Oregon. A6 is a nonprofit organization, and we are, um, our mission is to advance printmaking and book arts um, as vital contemporary art forms. So we do that through our making book projects with local authors, we do that through our workshops for students, um, high school students, adults. We do that through um, bringing in artists and having um, workshops with artists coming in doing different book arts or um, printmaking. Book arts is um, handmade books, um, creating and, and books that are made that are not just the traditional book. Um, so it could be books that are unbound or bound, um, all sorts of different structures from accordion to flags to tunnel books to um, traditional bound books um, that lay flat when you open. So it's that it's, um, it is the book and art and all together and it's all handmade. And so it's more than just the words that are, uh, that are in the book, it is also the, the structure of the book is also the art, part of the art, the paper that's used, the, how the, um, whether there is t um, text or no text. Um, so it's, it's, it's all of that and it's an unending world to discover and to create in. So it's pretty amazing. This is another book, the most recent, uh, <laughs> the Elocteia, uh, the most recent book, and it's written by Ellen Waterston. It relates to her trip on the Camino del Santiago and Ron Schultz, he is the illustrator for this. Um, and he and Ellen Waterston collaborated in doing the uh, drawings that would go with her poetry. This is a particularly interesting page because Ellie says she got the idea to do the book after hiking the trail when she saw a map of it and it reminded her of a woman stretching across northern Spain on this pilgrimage. And then Ron drew the map and also this overlay, which is a woman superimposed on this. So as we close this page, it shows the woman on the map in his interpretation. The artist comes in with a vision and they have their writing. And then um, also in when you're working in collaboration, so Ron Schultz, who did the illustrations, had both the inspiration of what Ellen Watterson is telling him in her writing, but then also his um, inspiration that he brings to it, influenced by what she's describing to him. So then he, he does the drawings and she, oh yes, that, that works, that goes together, you know, I like that. And so it really is that collaborative. It's not then the, art, the author just directing necessarily how the whole book goes. So it's in that collaboration and then you have each artist along the way, the typographer, how they're bringing in how they're setting the, the layout of the um, image and the type on the page. Um, also the letterpress artist, so it really is a, a collaborative process. This is the original drawing, uh, one of the original drawings, so this is just a pen and ink drawing. Uh, the pen drawings are then converted to a transparency uh, that faithfully reproduces the pen, pen work. And then that uh, transparency is used to burn a photosensitive plate uh, and that's what we have here. So from that point, after the plate has been created, then there's a process of inking the plate. So I'm using this kind of a, a tile grout uh, spreader to spread the ink over the surface. Uh, in this case, the ink is uh, below the surface of the plate, so it, the, uh, the image will be held in the lines that are, are etched into, below the surface below the surface of the plate. So I make sure that the ink is spread evenly over the plate and then I'll try to pull away as much of the ink as I can just using the squeegee. All right, then I'm going to move the plate over here. I'm going to put on gloves for the wiping process.
this whole process, uh, every step of it has, has to be done for every print that you produce. And so in this case, it was uh, numerous prints for this book project. So, so uh, then I'll use toll, which is like uh, the same material they use for bridal veils and that type of thing. It's a very soft and pliable cloth. And I will gently rub away the bulk of the ink on the plate. You can kind of see how the images become more and more clear as I work. Okay, so uh, don't want to press, press too hard with any of these materials. You don't want to take the ink out of the low points in the, in the plate. So once the bulk of the ink is off, then I use uh, pages from a telephone book and uh, gently work over the surface. Again, taking more ink off the plate. And through this process, as the ink is removed, it becomes easier and easier to uh, move across, across the surface of the plate. Okay. So now it's ready to print. So we'll walk over to the press. Because the plate on the back, or actually, they're steel plates, so there's a magnet here that'll hold the plate in, in place. So I'll place it down on the template here, so I'm lining it up. And then um, on this template, I've got lines for where the plate goes and then where the paper goes. And so it's always going to be centered in the paper. Put a sheet of newsprint over just to keep any ink from getting on the blankets. And then run it through. So there's our print. So it's the same process for every print. So that's the lab labor, one of the labor intensive uh, aspects of this project is, uh, you know, just uh, it's a craft and people are working on every aspect of this process from uh, page design to uh, letterpress printing, illustration printing, uh, stitching of the book. So it all involves craftsmanship. Oh. I want to tell you a little bit about this book, um, Bacaro Bacaru. It's a book that I am the author of and handmade book at Atelier 6000 with lots of support from the studio members to get it accomplished. Uh, it is cased in a juniper box, which was made specially for us by the Opportunity Foundation. Um, and they did a grand job. They have, we've put in what the wooden box is about and also information on this original book. Uh, it starts with, well, the whole idea started with Pat Clark. I had written an article about Ron Miller and he is a buckaroo, a fourth generation buckaroo, wrote the article for the High Desert Journal and she said, let's do a book. So, of course, I was really excited about it and we started figuring out how to go about it. Uh, the first thing I did was to write the story, but then to put it together, I ordered some uh, cow hides from North Carolina, and they had the hallmarks of, you know, what the animal had lived through, some barbed wire scars and bite marks that had been healed, and we liked that aspect. So we took the hides one by one and laid them out on a large table and cut out the leather cover. So this binding itself is called 
Italian long stitch. We have five signatures, and I'll explain what those are. The closure is a strap that goes around the side and goes into a little loop to keep it all together. The pages were all hand torn individually. Uh, it's about 100 pages. And so we took a large sheet of paper and then we actually ripped it to size. So each page has been handled quite a few times. The beginning page is horsehair. It was a print that we made using horsehair and a brayer. And that's the end pages for it. Uh, then I want to tell you about the signatures. A signature is a group of pages that are folded together. Let's see if I can find the back of the, here we are. And we have five signatures, as I said. That just means how we put the book together with the pages. So one piece of paper, this gray paper, which has, if you can see it, it's, uh, call, we call it our glue horse because it was uh, made by Nye Bennett Miller and she put, she drew a horse with glue on plexi and then ran that through the press. But that is the first page. It's also the last page which shows stirrups in embossment. So as we put these pages together, there are five of them and when you get to the center, the, the book always lies flat, but get to the center and we get the it shows how it's stitched. And so every one of these pages has actually four pieces to it. That means that when we're printing, we have to know where this page goes because it's not sequential. So we print that, and then these two had to be printed together, and the back page. So we would print one part, and then we would put that aside, let it dry, print some more. So every one of these illustrations uh, from drawings, this is one of Pat Clark's, Clark's illustrations, the drawings, the photographs, our embossments and um, solar plates, various techniques of the printing. Every page has been handled multiple times. It's an art form in itself, just the book, um, and it's beautiful to hold, to read, to look at, everything about it, and that wonderful dance between the, the word and the images and the whole book structure. So um, it, it puts it in a format that is um, handmade, that is not as, not as commercial, it, it, is, it is an art form. So it puts it into this um, that's going to last forever and it, it just it has a beauty of its own. So the advantage is that um, they get to enjoy that beauty and see it printed and, and also appreciate all these different processes that go into creating uh, the art book.